This is the F-Secure Sense. So F-Secure have very kindly sent over their new F-Secure Sense. To my knowledge, this is the first piece of hardware that F-Secure have ever manufactured. Maybe I'm wrong about that, however, it's not a name that I would associate with hardware. They re produce fairly reliable software. The F-Secure Sense is essentially, well, what appears to be a router that is an actual firewall for your home network to keep out any unnecessary intrusions especially now that we're relying very much on the Internet of Things to get stuff done. Having fridges and all that kind of caper connected to the Internet, they might not have appropriate security installed in them, and F-Secure are attempting to rectify that with this piece of hardware here. So, the whole thing costs £199, it, is, it requires a 12-month subscription as well, however, your first 12 months are included in that £199. Thereafter, it costs £9.90 per month, which is uh, quite a lot to pay. It's another chunk out of your wages that I'm sure not too many people are going to want to have to pay, but to be safe, this is a good idea, I suppose. And it would uh, mean that primarily you probably wouldn't need software solutions on your computers and things like that so if you're already paying for antivirus this could be a better solution for you so it says here award-winning protection and Nordic design F-Secure Sense uses the same technology as F-Secure Client Security awarded best protection by independent testing lab AV test and turning wireless router into a design element might be might seem like a crazy idea, but blah blah blah. blah, blah. Okay, that's uh, just a bit more uh, advertising speak. Over here we have a smart router. Uh, this the sense router secures your entire home network, protecting every connected thing from online threats. The secure app. Uh, the app manages your home network and protects your devices even on the go and cloud protection. Our industry leading security cloud monitors your network for threats in real time, which is uh, kind of cool. There's the uh, technical specifications for those who are mostly interested in that kind of caper. Uh, that does seem to be, uh, well, there's a one gigahertz dual core CPU inside and it's got four internal antennas and has pretty much every type of Wi-Fi on there. So yeah, it's compatible with Android 4.4 and higher, so if you're below that, you're in a bit of trouble. And it's also got applications, as it mentions at the top here, for Google Play and Apple App Store. And there's a QR code to find out more information from the comfort of your own home. Then right this side, the missing piece of your connected home. F secure right well let's get it out because it's actually quite heavy and holding it at this angle is proving to be too much for my puny arms right on this hello smart person already off to a good start there by calling the customer smart for purchasing you've got this far uh, this box contains these things that we'll take a quick look at uh, the F secure sense to download the application scan that QR code and run through the setup process. Okay, that's just a bit of cardboard. This is actually quite nicely presented to be honest for a, for a security thing. We have a quick guide that uh, shows us how to plug it in. So we have the web, I'm guessing, or the outside world, then your router, then you plug this into your router and then connect other bits and pieces to it. So that's modem or router plus sense, then Wi-Fi router plus sense, or if you don't want to have to plug it in, you can connect via Wi-Fi to it, and then wall Ethernet socket to sense, so you can plug it directly into that. All right, fair enough. Uh, we won't go through the quick guide because I'm not going to be setting it up here. This is a warranty, is it? Uh, 
safety environmental regulation okay and there is the sense wrapped in plastic we'll come to that in a second because I'm intri intrigued to see what else is in here we have oh it's very sensibly packaged here we have a, an arm or a flap that we can pull out this and then in here we have an Ethernet cable it doesn't say if it's actually cat5 or cat5e because that uh, anyone who's using cat5e may notice their network slowing down if that's a cat5 and uh, nothing else in there. And down the bottom here, we have power, and it comes with a, a UK adapter, a Euro adapter, and the actual power itself, which is a, or, well, a, a regular power connection that has it's 12 volt. Fair enough. So the sense item, I thought it was a bit more square than this. It's a parallelogram, a rhombus, a no, parallelogram, we'll go with that. And we have some plastic around it that we can take off. And it's plastic. So on the top here, we obviously have some a heat vent and it says F secure there. There's nothing down this side, however, the, the photo details that there is some kind of inbuilt screen or LED array here that shows the time, hopefully the date and that kind of thing. So you can tell those things at the glance. There's nothing on this side. We have a bunch of things here, air vents, and we have a reset button, the power connector, one, three ethernet ports and a USB three. Very sensible. And there's a something here, whether that be a, it is, it's a, a button, and then nothing on this side, and it just sits like this. And I'm going to dare to plug it in, even though it's not connected to anything, because we're not going to be hooking it up in this video, as I don't want to start the subscription, because I'm going to be handing it over to Peter to review. And there we go, we have some eights, lots of eights, eight eights in fact. And we'll just let her boot up and see if it, uh, I'm guessing you probably interact with this front screen or LED array to set things up. So the quick start guide tells us what is, what to do, setting up your sense, download the sense app, power up your sense router, use the app to create your sense network. So that's about as far as we're going to go then. But yeah, so this is the sense. It's going to take us a wee while to get this up and running and see exactly how we can keep ourselves safe. We're just going to have to trust that the sense is keeping us safe unless we go out and actively pursue dodgy websites and challenge it to, I don't know, try and hack, get hacked or something somehow, which is something I don't really want to do, but I have every faith that this will probably fend off any nastiness coming that way. All right, so we'll get this together, hand it over to Peter, and in a couple of weeks he should have a review. And in the meantime, hit the subscribe button down below, turn on any notifications you fancy, ask any questions you like, and we'll pass them along and address them in the review. And other than that, take care.